Looks like both players have bolt a six, if I'm not mistaken. Delver pass from Dominic. <laughs> I'm playing a little 4 C actually. I'm changing it up. Nice. It's like the uh, equivalent. So what's on everybody's mind? Twitch chatters, YouTube commenters. Is there anything? Is there anything bothering you about Magic right now? Are you excited about anything? Does anybody have any things they want to share? Hot takes, feelings about Magic. Everybody's talking about beans in the chat. Combat. Yep. Thank you. Let's go. Let it out, chat. Yep. My hamster. Five. Yes. The Chandler says modern has been awful, but legacy is peak greatness. I well, okay. Comet Stellar Pup is not exactly the gameplay we had in mind, right, chat? Sure does. We want cards that make sense, like Chains of Mephistopheles in our game. It's Shuko. Okay, we have people complaining about Beseech in the chat. I'm going to cast Seek the Beast. Seek the Beast. Seek the Beast, chat. What is this card called? Questing Druid? I don't know. There it is. Um, Dominic with a very nice adventure token. <laughs> with the OG art on the adventure token. Look at that. Wow. That's dedication. Exiling Brazen Bower and another copy of Questing Druid. Triggers. Not flipping the Delver. I'm going to play the Wasteland. I'm going to waste the Saga. Feels good to waste Sagas. Alan Hashbrowns, thanks for the sub with Prime. Appreciate that. Looks like a first time sub. Uh, you can call it, you can call it, if we want to call it Judge, you can, but I've cast online a good amount of, uh, um, and then hit you after, yeah, we can call it Judge. Does anybody know how, uh, adventure works? And then when they're in exile, you can cast either side, right? At least that's what you can do online. Not really sure what the question is here. I think the question is, can you cast either the adventure or questing druid itself, the ones that are in exile from, uh, Seek the Beast? Uh, or in this case, Petty Theft or Brazen Borrower. All right, so Petty Theft bounces the um, Shuko. Um, it basically functions as a split card, so uh, I think that works just fine. Two again for another snoot. The YouTube commenters will be ch will be uh, checking on all this and letting us know. I'll get Tundra. Okay. Sure, That's sure. Double Tundra for Yasu. Um, I'll cast Stoneforge Mystic. Stoneforge Mystic. It resolves. Input suited to your hand. Yeah. Sure, sure. College are complete. I'll pass the turn. Let's see. He will be oh, flip. Oh, okay. He will not. Uh, wow. That's a draw. No, no. Uh, unfortunately yeah. not. And Sometimes it happens. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm going to cast uh, a ponder. Ponder revolves. Delver having trouble flipping itself over. Ponder for Dominic could set it up for next turn. Looks like Yasu has a daze available. Uh, 
College of Complete will be difficult to deal with potentially. Can't exactly bolt that germ. I'll play a wasteland. I'll waste three one of those. I see Yasu has a uh, Urza Saga in hand, so that wasteland might be regretted later. We'll see. Dragon's Rage Channeler is down. No delirium. <laughs> I hear Dominic say, I wish I had waited with the wasteland, I think. All right, activating Stoneforge here. College are complete. We'll see a germ get created here. And cast trigger. Move to combat. Puts the germ under the equipment? Oh my god. This doesn't have Who does that? Since when do people do that? It's gotta stop. We're not doing that anymore. The germ goes above the equipment. Come on, people. No, it's not the new norm. We're not doing that. Combat. Okay. I will swing at you for three. Okay. I don't want to see <laughs> I don't want to see creatures below equipments. That's just too much for me. Combat? Yep. Alright, the germ token is attacking. Urza Saga has ticked up to two, but Yasuo might not have a land drop here, so no constructs on the way. Ponder. Audrey says, I'm sad. Mutate hasn't seen play in the format. Yeah, what, what's the most legacy playable card with Mutate? Is it the green one? Some kind of green commander rare or something? I have no idea what it's called. Yeah. Shape shifter and I'll press seven. And Seb, yeah. I'm gonna seek the beast okay. surveil. That's a funny little yeah. action. So I'm in yeah. that one. Results? You know uh, okay, surveil puts a questing druid into the graveyard. Brainstorm and wooded foothills are exiled with seek the beast. Adventure cards getting a little full. The adventure indicator cards getting a little full. But that's okay. We have three cards on an adventure on Dominic's set. Double questing druid and a brazen bower. Needs to deal with this college or complete equipped Frexian germ. Brainstorm, surveil. Surveil was off. Um, I'll leave that on top. Brainstorm resolves. Okay, brainstorm resolves. Thought for a second we might see a bowmaster there. Bowmaster, right, everybody? Tell me about it. Two back. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna fetch down to eight. Bowmaster now in 86.3% of decks that top aided at MTGO event in the past week. Yeah, um, Dom V with a great question. Are you supposed to have a separate adventure card for each creature? I mean, it would be nice if you did that, Dominic. It would show dedication and love for the game. Could always just, you know, think about Richard Garfield, think about the history of Magic the Gathering and everything that it means to you, and and throw some extra on and adventure cards in the deck box, you know? 5-5 five, five, Merktide. Merktide Regent. So now we have a race on our hands. Culture Complete might not be able to win this race. As uh, uh, Merktide joins the fray. <laughs> Five toughness on Merktide could also absorb a block if needed, if the race comes down to that. You saw the days from that I brainstormed, so it's possible it's gone, but... Dominic helping out. 
telling Yasu what might still be in his hand. Very interesting strategy there. Doesn't seem like a winning strategy. <laughs> Yeah, I might still have the days in my hand from 16 turns ago. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I went 03 drop. <laughs> I'm just playing. These are casual games. All right, Wizard Cycling, find the illusionist. <laughs> just got unlucky, exactly. <laughs> I told my opponents what's in my hand, but I got really unlucky. All right, there's a saga pops here. <laughs> Bad matchups. <laughs> all right, there's Shuko. We know Illusionist is in hand, so Yasu might have this one after all. Let's see if Dominic has a response. Illusionist hits the stack. All right, Force pitching Brainstorm. Daze you back. Um, yeah. and then this is a free equip. Yeah. 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 Yep, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Souls. Wow, Yasu steals the game with the combo. Game one. But I can uh, try to track that down at some point. The list looks pretty stock, though, as far as breakfast list. I'm sure I can dig something up that will be... A card or two different, if needed. Later on, Discord. Is the Delver list in the Discord? I do not believe we have this list either. I could also try to get that. All right, ponder for Dominic to start game two. <laughs> Tom hands out a copy to his opponents before the game of the deck list, but I don't think anyone else does. Yeah. That's true. All right, basic island found for Yasu. All right, Dom is going to post it. Thank you, Dom. Um, sure. All right, here's a ponder for Yasu. Some people get upset when I say this, believe it or not, but any deck list we gather are posted in our Discord server, and there's a server guide that helps you figure out how to unlock it all. So there you go. Get upset if you want. Soul Guide Lantern? Soul Guide Lantern. Ponder exile. Uh, Sego. Uh, that is it for my turn. Okay. And then during your upkeep, I'm going to turn your cabinet of souls into an artifact. No, no, it doesn't die. I have oh, right, right, right. It's yeah, just an artifact, right. so you can't activate it. Cause... Right. Okay. Uh, draw. Land, Prince Leo. Sure. Yeah, some people start fuming when I don't give every detail of every <laughs> step you need to take to access all the uh, stuff I put in the Discord. It's crazy. Yasuo has good taste in basic lands, says Guy Drinks Tea. That's a big, that's a big uh, praise right there. What about my... I feel like all the players that play on this channel get props from the chat, but when I play on the channel, nobody says anything about my cards. Nobody ever says, oh, nice foil Bowmaster, Chris. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. down to 14. Yeah, you're down to 14. Wow, Chris, great choice of a brainstorm. I don't get any of it. Force of Phil says Chris plays magic. Yeah, that that's a rumor going around for a long time now. Great choice of headphones. 
an Amy? I mean, yeah, we're seeing resolve. Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt is named with Cabal Therapy. Murktide, Questing Druid, and the Festivities and Double Pyro Blast are revealed. That's quite a mean hand against blue cards. Young Beagle says, white border duels and ugly foil lands. Nice, Chris. Yeah. Exactly. I'm not in my usual spot, no. A little bit of a transition right now. Streaming from an unusual location. Very unusual. Uh -oh. Is Pyroblast not long for this world? Uh, <laughs> I'm in my second mansion while the first one gets remodeled. Yeah, you should see the rent prices in NYC, everybody. It's crazy out there. We're, we're, we're like this close from doing the stream under a bridge somewhere with a bad connection. On the brink. Prismatic ending on Soul Guide. Need to remove that if we're going to be milling our library and dread return back a Thassa's Oracle. Is this your GoPro recording these games? Exactly, yes. GoPro 11, currently using. Looks like an illusionist now in hand and a nomads in core. Two pieces of the puzzle. We know Dominic has some disruption though that we have to play around. Narc Amoeba hits the stack. That will likely resolve, is my guess. Fetch in response. Okay, fetch resolves. I'm going to attempt to pyroblast it. Sure. Okay, we're pyroblasting Narc Amoeba. That was a little bit of a... Um, Yeah, so so we hear Dominic explaining his thinking here, but I was gonna say, countering it to prevent Cabal therapy from fleeing flash flashback, naming Pyroblast. Yeah, I guess I, guess I like that play. That makes sense. Uh, no sure. Go. All right, No core enters. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I was skeptical about it for a second, but then I thought it through. MTG Banding is here in the chat, everybody. What's up, Phil? Yeah, we've seen some Shukos. We've seen some Shukos. Yeah, no pressure from Delver so far in this game. And the festivities should eliminate the snowmans in core. It is gone. Wait, how would that work with nomads and ability? Hold on a second. Oh, it has to be another creature. Yeah, you can't redirect it to yourself. Never mind. If there was another creature, it could have saved itself. Luis Felipe, thank you for the resub with Prime. Or oh, first time sub. Thank you. Appreciate that. Welcome. Merktide region, everybody. Sometimes I can't sleep at night because I'm thinking about this card. It's an 8-8. Four. Uh, end step. 
Seek the Beast, Brainstorm and Daze. This questing Druid goes on an adventure. I'm going to start by casting Brainstorm. Brainstorm, pre combat here. Harry Houdini with a great question. Think breakfast is good in this Bowmaster heavy meta. So I, I uh, spoke to Yasu after this event. How is breakfast right now? Is it suffering from Bowmasters? And Yasu's answer was yes. But do we have any breakfast players out there who want to weigh in on this and uh, give their analysis? Because I'm not a breakfast player. Swing for eight. Ponder for Yasu. Looking for ways to uh, either get rid of this Merc Tide or get his deck to do what it does. Roberts, thanks for the resub. 15 months. Yo, yo, yo. Another Seek the Beast for Dominic. Let's see what we hit this time. Null Rod and Wasteland. Null Rod, good for shutting off either Vile or Shuko. Uh, No rods in there. Delver of Secrets could get the pressure game back on. Fetch for Yasu. Gets a Tundra. Hey, look at that. We're back at the even 300 of our sub goal of 330. People were talking last week about having an exact even number. Very nicely done. Thank you, Roberts, for sharing all of our links. All right, a daze on another copy of Seek the Beast. This one will send Questing Druid to the graveyard. So two questing druids on an adventure, still. Brainstorm on upkeep for Dominic, going to try and flip this Delver into Insectile Aberration and get the clock going, get the clock ticking. Reveal bolts, it's not bad. Questing Druid enters the battlefield. So it looks like Yasu still has an illusionist in hand. Brainstorm. We know Dominic has some disruption, though. At least one copy of Pyroblast, a Lightning Bolt. What else is left from earlier in this game? That is all that comes to mind, but there might be something else. So you are right. You are right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Question for the chat, question for the YouTube comments. Best magic set of 2023 so far. What's your pick? This brainstorm is taking a moment. What was my first legacy deck? It was Reanimator. Reanimator was the first legacy. Well, at least the one that I like played in an event was Reanimator. What about you? What about you people? Brothers War, yeah. I think it's nice that we finally have a Brothers War set. Stoneforge Mystic. Shuko. Now keep in mind, no rod is on the table. Yasu will have to deal with that. All right, bolting Stoneforge on end step. Questing Druid will get a counter. Fluster Storm on Bolt. Joe Retro, thank you for five gift subs. Appreciate that. Looks like first five gifts on uh, Joe Retro's record. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Dredge. Brainstorm happening here. It's boosting questing druid's power and toughness a bit. Um, Stoneforge will have to chump block here. Bolt ends the game. We're going to game three. Well, at least it looks like we're going to game three. What happened here? Okay, we are going to game three. Is Questing Druid seeing any play in other formats, chat? I don't know. Yeah. Big message from Joe Retro. Enjoy the subs. Love the channel. Thank you, Joe. Really appreciate that. And I'm sure people receiving the subs appreciate it as well. Ah, uh, Pioneer Gruel. It's popping in standard. Okay, okay. Should Dominic's deck be called Grow Delver? G R O Delver, chat? Or is that too obscure of a reference to people that love weird deck names? Could weigh in. Force of Phil says built in three for ones has to be good, right? Yeah. Exactly. Trident King with a big message. Just started playing Legacy and watching you on YouTube has helped so much. You know what, Trident? Uh, this sounds like I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding. You just made my day. That's exactly what I want. Thank you for being here, and it's awesome that you're uh, watching some Legacy and it's uh, and my channel has helped you. Made my day. Caldra complete has uh, been searched up by Stoneforge. Stoneforge. 
All right, Lightning Bolt on Stoneforge will be pretty good. Wooded Foothills correct. <laughs> Chandler says, same, I wish I knew of this channel sooner. You know, maybe this, maybe this is like, uh, I don't know, Pe people could receive this all kinds of ways, I guess. But if you're, if you're enjoying this channel, as much as I could go around wandering the internet, like promoting the channel, it means so much more when it comes from one of you. So if you're in a Facebook group or a Reddit sub or whatever, you're in some other Discord and you're enjoying this channel, please share it. Show people the, show people a link, and uh, obviously that helps me. But you know, as evidenced by people sharing their experience in the chat, it helps other people too. All right, here's questing druid. Uh, seek the beast. Surveil looks like actually. <laughs> Fluster Storm hits Seek the Beast. So Questing Druid is in the trash. Ponder Surveil. Merc Tide into the graveyard. No respect for the Merc Tide. MTG Banning says, tell your local barista about 90s MTG. Yeah, so went to a coffee shop uh, yesterday that I had never gone to before. You know, I tried to strike up conversation with them, but uh, maybe next time. Next time I'll get into the whole Magic the Gathering stuff with them. But, but at least I know that uh, you're spending way too much energy. I was hoping they were going to recognize me, you know. Uh, but there's a lot of like, hmm? okay, I want to... Uh, it doesn't work. Red spell in the so I need to play the Pondra now so I can get it. my Urza side. I want to two tokens. Let's take up. Maybe like love the connection. Thank you, I clean pools. I don't like it. Yeah, that's interesting. Although I, I don't think of myself as being used as like a camera. I clean pool says, unfortunately, here in Reno, it seems EDH is the only format anyone plays. That, that'll be, you know, like, there are already established magic scenes in uh, a lot of places. And people will stick to what they're familiar with and what they're enjoying. And, and uh, to some extent, to where they've been directed to go from picking up this game, wherever they are on their journey. There are some people that watch channels like this one that feature formats that they don't play, whether it's legacy or anything else, even modern. And um, it's just uh, entertainment to some extent. But um, the community building aspect of... Uh, it's a brainstorm resolving or it's a saga. It's ticked up to two. The community building aspect of... Um, Magic the Gathering cannot be understated and neglected, really. And uh, if you want a format to uh, blossom someday in your local scene, somebody's got to put in a little bit of work to make that happen. And uh, there are resources online, like the 90s MTG Discord, like Facebook groups, like whatever, where... People are lending cards, offering rides, whatever, to help, you know, build up some some community. And so shout out to everybody that's doing that. Wasting Saga, make a construct in response. I'm going to cast this uh, druid. Short. Let's go. Pittsburgh says we used to have a thriving standard group, then Wizards killed it, not just eternal formats. Yet yeah, formats like standard are uh, going through a transition period for sure. But um, this is my opinion. I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but it really it really starts with the people. Like it it's really like, you know, the people who play standard in that area, 
if they want Stander to start firing again, they gotta like rally together and and lend out some cards and what you know everything I just went over. Swords. Doesn't matter what format it is. Swords on Questing Beast. Empty Japan says, my problem is the opposite. In NYC, everyone wants to play Legacy, but no one wants to play Universes Beyond 93-94. You're on your own, Empty Japan. You're on your own. No bads in core. Card that makes perfect sense. Merktide Regent, everybody. Uh, every time Merktide hits the screen, we lose some people. They get triggered and they bounce. It's just too much for some people to handle. Modern staple Merktide is just too good. Stoneforge, Mystic. College are complete. Yep. All right, no man's and core gets in there. Pull two on end step. That's a little scary. Combat? Yeah. I go to one. Down to one. Attempt to I'll respond. Activate. Okay, a million times. <laughs> we got timeout now. <laughs> good games. Good. All right, good games. That gets a fist bump. Yasu uh, loses the game.